We are going to smoke a whole beef brisket. We're gonna make sandwiches, better known as tortas in Mexico. The first thing we're gonna do is make the marinade for the brisket. Now you'll find the, uh, the brisket sort of the, uh, as the underbelly of uh, beef or the veal. And this is something that's gonna have to take a really long time. This probably could take up to 12 hours or even more. It just depends on when, I always like to say, when the brisket just kind of gives up, you know? So let's get started. We're gonna make the adobo and marinade first. I want these to char very quickly because I don't want them to overcook. So we're gonna do, do very high heat. It's gonna take like two or three minutes, and then we're gonna take them off. I'm gonna use a lot of garlic in this. I want, I want big impact of flavor on this brisket. We need a little bit of orange zest. Squeeze some of the juice in there. Right into the food processor. Some smoked jalapenos, chipotles. Some ancho and pasilla powder. Now, pasilla is a pretty earthy flavor. Not very spicy. Ancho, again, not very spicy, but more of a fruity flavor in the red chili department. We have some brown sugar. This will actually help the outside of the brisket caramelize as it smokes. A little red wine vinegar. All right. Now we're just gonna puree this. A little canola oil. Put a little cilantro in here. Pour the marinade over the brisket. I'm gonna let it sit overnight. All right, now let's talk about the smoker. This is actually a ceramic cooker that I love to use. There's a ceramic plate in here that kind of distracts the direct heat. We're gonna take that out. Then we also have charcoal here, okay? Just hot charcoal. And I have some mesquite wood. Now, my wife is from Texas, so mesquite wood is very big in Texas. And you could use things like uh, cherry wood, apple wood, any kind of fruit wood. But you wanna make sure that you soak them and waterlog them for at least an hour. Because what we want to happen is we wanna create smoke, right? We're smoking the brisket. So we're gonna take the soaked wood chips, put them on top of the charcoal that's already hot, and they'll create smoke. If you don't soak them, they'll just burn off and the smoke will go away. We're actually gonna deflect the, uh, the direct heat, but you can see it's starting to smoke already. And then we're gonna put the grates on top of here. And now we have a smoker, just like that. And this is as simple as this. We're just gonna take the brisket, fat side up, put it on the grates, done. I wanna cook this at around between 200 and 215. And that's the great thing about this grill. The ceramic part of it really insulates it incredibly well. And sometimes I can go, you know, 12, 14 hours and never have to change the charcoal. And we'll see you in 12 hours. All right, we got some Mexican barbecue working today on Barbecue Addiction. Let's get over to the Coup de Gras right now, which is a beautiful brisket. If you just joined us, I made an adobo marinade, sort of like an uncooked Mexican-style barbecue sauce. Slathered it on that big beef brisket. Let it sit overnight. Put it on this uh, smoker. We've been going now for about, uh, I don't know, five or six hours on this. And now I'm gonna just spray it with some apple juice, okay, which I've been doing, you know, every half hour or so. Great for moisture. Now, sometimes barbecue aficionados say, like, wrapping it in foil is cheating. Honestly, I don't care. This is the way it works to me because it's just gonna keep the moisture in, it's gonna keep it cooking, and we're not gonna get any more smoke flavor on it. I think we have plenty of smoke flavor. You know, there's just that moment of just enough smoke. Sometimes, if you oversmoke it, it gets so rich, it's hard to eat more than maybe a slice or two, okay? And then wrap it up, beautiful. Then I'm just gonna put it right on top, and I'm just gonna cover it up and let it keep cooking. It's only halfway done. So we're gonna start with some Mexican crema, which is, uh, it's like a soured cream, but you can see it's much lighter. It's a lot thinner. And then we're gonna take some horseradish that's been sitting in vinegar, like the jarred horseradish, a good quality one. And a good amount of horseradish. I, like, I love the flavor of horseradish, and we really want it to cut through the, uh, the richness of that brisket and the bread as well. And then I have some queso fresco, which is very simply uh, 
a fresh cheese, like a fresh farmer's cheese, but Mexican style. And then some salt and pepper. Kind of like if you go to like an old school American restaurant, you get prime rib, and you'll get like a horseradish cream on the side. This is sort of that version of it, but much more in a Mexican style, especially using the Mexican crema and the queso fresco. Okay, we have one more thing that's gonna go on this torta, sort of like a caramelized onion tomato salsa. So we have caramelized onions, we have some cherry tomatoes. This is gonna be a really nice savory relish to go right on top of the, uh, of the, of the tortas as well. We're gonna take this brisket off the grill. It's been smoking there for about nine hours, got to about 185, 190 degrees internal temperature. And I think I'm just gonna grill the bread a little bit. Just put a little canola oil on there, just to kind of uh, you know, moisten the bread a little bit and also uh, give, give the bread a little bit of texture. Kind of just brings the bread back to life. Okay. Oh, it smells so great. It's like unwrapping a Christmas present. Look at that. Amazing. I'm gonna go against the grain here, look at that. I mean, come on, unreal. Just beautiful. I started with an adobo marinade. I can really taste it on the outside, mm, it's amazing. Look at that. I mean, just spectacular. Look how juicy that is. I'm gonna just Tear some cilantro, just fold it into my tomato, caramelized onion, and jalapeno relish here. This is the bottom of the bread. So we're gonna start with just a very thin layer of the horseradish crema. Then we're gonna take some of our brisket, and then a little bit of our iceberg lettuce, and some of our tomato and caramelized onion relish. And don't forget, there's jalapenos in here, so we're gonna get a little bit of heat, which I think is a good thing. And just because I can, I can see these juices in here from the brisket, Pour a little of this juice right on top. Torta time. Mm. <laughs> Took a while to make this, but it's worth it. It's worth every bite. 